Do you think we could learn a lot from that? Do you think all of us humans could just downsize to that? And do you think it would really change, probably change the world if we actually didn't have stuff to worry about? Well, people get really addicted to their things. A lot of people go through life pretty much working jobs that they don't particularly like. In some cases, hating their jobs, counting the days to retirement. I, early in my life, you know, I used to hear my father. He was one of the few guys in my neighborhood that actually used to say, Steve, I can't wait to get out of bed in the morning to go to work. I just love my job. Hmm. And I grew up with this, listening to this. And then I heard all oh, the other fathers saying, oh my God, Monday, I have to go back to work. Oh, so terrible. I made up my mind when I was 12 years old that I was going to find something I really loved and really liked. So I wouldn't be like all those other dads and I'd be like my own father. So okay. I had a good role model in that respect. Okay. So people so, working these type of jobs, right. you, know, the, you know, the American dream, right? They, they buy the house and, uh, you know, they get married and they have 2.5 kids. And, you know, we, we talked about this before, but yeah. they're just stuffing that house full of material. We're trying to lead these lifestyles. Well, and we don't even know why we're trying to do they're it. They're trying right? to find fulfillment through right. things and materials. And it does give you like a little temporarily you know, ha a jolt of happiness, you know, a little, little temporary jolt of, of, of some type of fulfillment, I suppose. Right. But it goes away quickly, and then you're just looking for the next thing to buy. And, you know, people fill their house with furniture and electronics and all this stuff, and then they run out of room, and they fill their basement and their garages and their attics, and then they have to go out and get storage units, and it's crazy. And they don't even use this stuff. Wardrobes full of things. I mean, there was a period where I was a householder, you know, I, I can remember literally counting, I had 35 different pairs of shoes, mostly sneakers. Every kind of track suit, sweat suit, you know. I, you know, I, I would tell myself, well, I'm into business and, you know, this is all part of my business apparel and that you don't have to suffer in this life. You don't have to have a miserable existence. You don't have to age like some of my relatives did. You don't have to just like give in and just die piece by piece. You don't have to spend the last 20 years of your life dying. You know, live the life that you have. You were put on this earth for a reason. It certainly wasn't to get obese and end up with diabetes and, and be this weak, sickly person. You know? Take those gifts that you were given, God's gift, and and above all, stay stay with it. Stay with it. Don't don't just give up and just that's part of the message. The other message is, it's just kind of like a preparation to go into the, the next phase. Right. I don't see death as the end. Right, so there's more. There's yeah, more. there's more, but no. you, it's really hard to concentrate on spiritual higher truths when you're just deathly sick all the time. If your health is broken down, that's all you can think about. If you're in pain and you're sick, you can't think of higher truths at all. You're, you're pretty much just stuck in the body. So sickness and ill health and all that. So you, by building your vitality, it allows you to look at, at other things. Do you think aging is a, 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 an, an engineered mental test on a, on a spirit? You know, I mean, I, I, I'm 44, I used to be 40, I used to be 35, and I can see I can't do the things I used to do. I don't look how I used to do. And part of me thinks is, you know, is this, is this the test of being a human? As in, you have to deal with these things and deal with these things with grace and reevaluate a new situation you're dealing with every day, which is, how do I deal with my body now? Uh, well, for sure, I, I can't do like many of the things that I used to do, many, 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 many things, but yeah, it doesn't bother me too much, you know? Uh, because, you know, nature and his wisdom gives you other benefits, you know? And to tell the God's the honest truth, Brian, I, I would never want to go back again and do it all over again. No way, man. <laughs> Why not? I, I don't know. I just, I, I'm happy here. Right. And you're looking to the next life. Yeah, no, future, this, right? is, this is good, you know? I, I think... feel so much calmer and so much more yeah. relaxed, you know? My, my career isn't about the money. I believe the money will come as a consequence of doing what I do and doing it to the best of my ability. But the money is not the reason why I do things. So the only reason I would, you know, hawk supplements, sell equipment, all this type of stuff. I, I do have suggestions for people and so forth, but it would just be purely for uh, profit. But that's not how I operate. Okay. Yes, I need money. Yes, I like money. Yes, I make money. 
But the, the reason for my existence is not to make money.